Um, <laughs> Mark Murphy reaches game 300 in yeah. a season where not a lot, there's not been a lot of, for um, Carlton to have any joy over. How significant is it to get Murphy oh. to this marker? I think it's just been fantastic for him. Um, he's been a star. He's played 16 years. He's had f five years as a captain of this football club. He's won two best and fairest. Uh, I, I, I'm so proud of him for getting there. Even though he, he, you get on the on the sub and do all that, it doesn't worry me one iota. He got himself to that area there. He was a he was a very good young player. Uh, they made him captain in probably in the worst period of Carlton's history, the last 20 years with five wooden spoons, uh, not too many finals. But gee whiz, he's held his end up and, and, and he deserves his 300. And I'm so proud of him and it's probably one of the best good stories that this club will have for the year because it's been tough. So culture's a big part of this and, and you've been hmm. thinking through the cultural review before the Blues land their football department review. If you were going hmm. to nail down Carlton's cultural needs, how would you do it? I'd start with hard work. I mean, this is not an easy caper. These are, these are the toughest, uh, these are the best athletes in the world almost when you think about it, uh, a size and weight and run and do all those things. I don't think they've worked hard enough. I don't think they're tough enough to last a game out. I don't think that they run through that. Uh, you know, but I, I, I really think about other things like honesty and selflessness. I don't see a lot of that and I don't see much team anymore. It's not working. Trust and respect. I don't know if I can use those words. You know what I mean? It's, it's in that sort of, it's in that category because they're on one minute, they're off the next. And you need consistency and you need to be hungry and humble. That's what you need to be. But who's, uh, who are the people that are going to put a stake in the ground and set the benchmarks in those areas? Well, tell me who the leaders are. On field, Paddy yeah. Cripps. Yeah. Sam yes. Walsh looks like a terrific young oh, he's, leader. He, well, he's fantastic. Yeah, but who's going to follow them? Because it looks like to me some of them aren't playing the way they should. I mean, I was out there on Saturday. I was there with you. We watched the game and uh, they were outworked. Totally outworked. Took Miller around, around most of them. And then at one stage they put Walsh to halfback flank. To me, because I, I, he was getting he was getting picked up, picked up by uh, Swallow. Swallow, that's right, by Swallow. And, and he, they put him in halfback. Flank. That's the wrong thing to do. You put him on Took Miller, the best player in the competition, and test him again yeah. because I, he's a quick runner and a runner. And all of a sudden, you know, but they took him away from that. Now, I, to me, I thought that was average. He needs to be on the best player okay. and teach him a few things. Let's just leave that on field for a moment. The Carlton Review, uh, I think, is due out later this week. Mm. What do you expect the impact of that to be? Um, I hope there's change. I don't know what the change is going to be. We've had speculation everywhere. I've got emails sent to me from people. I've got texts and this. But do I understand them and believe them? I don't think so at this stage. I'll wait till the board land and, uh, and, and, and put up the summary and... Uh, and away they go. What but you, the, what for mine, the football department has let Teague down a little bit here, right. in my opinion. Uh, David Teague's a young coach. He's been coming to the club. He started off with a, in a blaze of glory, won six or seven games in a row, was really good. But he needs development as well. And, and did they ring up uh, Craig Bellamy and say, hey, listen, can we get Teague over to sit down with you? And, you know, Ange Postacoglu is around the place. He's a Carlton bloke. Can he come and sit with you and have a go at this? One thing I did learn is that if you're going to be a coach, you've got to actually seek advice from other people. And Tony Jules, a mate of mine, he used to sit with, with Len Smith mm. every, every Friday afternoon and go through all the issues he had for the week. And, and he learned. Will he be there next year, David T? Oh, I don't think so. But, but, that's, but everyone's telling me he's not. But I, it, it, can't be, it can't be all uh, garbage. So I think that uh, there'll be change. There'll be a lot of change, and, the, and hopefully in, in the right manner. Sellers, it's good to see you. It's been great. Kimberley was beautiful. Oh, <laughs> nice.